Hello everyone. It's Friday the 21st of May 2021. Uh, it's just after three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm out taking a look at how the uh, new flood defences they've been building over the last year are working. Uh, and as you can see, there's the flood and that's where the flood would probably be by now. Um, this is Onus Yoki, in case anybody's wondering which river it is that's flooding. Uh, we've had some bad floods in the last two or three years, some really bad floods. So uh, they started building these flood defences. I think the first ones went in a year ago, uh, over a year ago. And then they've been slowly but surely building them up over the last 12 months. And uh, two days ago, uh, it's well, earlier this week, it started raining really heavily. And uh, it's been raining a lot this last week. So, of course, all the snow off the hills is melting and everything. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's rather wet out there. Um, those apartment buildings behind the trees are where I live right now. So, yeah. Uh, now looking uh, due east uh, towards Sodenkula in the far distance. Um, I'm not quite sure how far down this uh, slipway goes here. Yes, uh, you can sort of see brown to about there where my finger is, but I can't tell if this is uh, a slipway for getting to the river or if it reconnects with the road that they built about three years ago that's meant to go down to a, uh, a bridge over there. Uh, sort of, yeah, around there where my finger is now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, whatever it is, it's underwater right now. Um, as you can see here, they've got some uh, emergency pumps set up. Uh, looks like they're running it off the, uh, yeah, they're running it off the street pole, the light, uh, street lamp. Uh, doesn't seem to be pumping anything at the moment. There's have a look in a second maybe if I can see them coming out the other end uh, yes uh, for those of you who are curious it is snowing um, started snowing around uh, 09 30 this morning and it's only been getting more and more heavy as the day goes on uh, I don't think I've seen fresh snowfall later in the year uh, later in the spring than this since I came to Kitdala so uh, yeah, it's um, it's certainly nice weather. Uh, the uh, environmental monitoring and weather people say that the flood, the orange flood warning, is going to last until uh, possibly next Tuesday, uh, depending on how much rain and everything we have this weekend. Uh, what did I see down here? Ah, okay, that's just some. Um, wood. Uh, looks like they managed to take the boats out. Yaha. Uh -huh. The uh, the pumps are working to take water out from underneath the uh, health centre. That yellow building there is the main health centre for Kitdala. This is the uh, assisted living block here at the back of it. Um, right, I can't, can't get my visuals quite right because this here is all new since last year um, but judging where the water is on those trees if this bank wasn't here I think I think the water would probably be up to sort of the base of that tree there already which is just about as high as I've ever seen it come uh, given how hard this pump seems to be working to take the water out from the the drain system over there and eject it over here uh, yeah it certainly seems to be uh, a lot of water and this is definitely the uh, the choppiest I've ever seen it uh, I will admit that in the last couple of years when we've had floods the weather has been remarkably mild which I guess has saved 
the worst of the uh, uh, saved us from the worst of the disaster of the floods because we certainly haven't had this northerly wind blowing the water in towards the land. Uh, there's an upturned boat down there. I hope I did put the engine on it. Can't see any oil stain on the water, but like I said, it's so choppy right now. It's all getting mixed up anyway. So, yeah. Uh, base of that tree right there has a plaque on it showing where the previous record high water mark was. And as best as I can tell, yeah, the water wouldn't be very far from it right now already. And we're only into the the beginning of the, the bad flood weather. Uh, all depends really, I suppose, on how much rain and snow and sleet they're having uh, up towards Morneo away. Um, but uh, certainly I wouldn't want to be anywhere near the river down towards Rovaniemi over the next couple of days because the flood's going to be pretty bad as Onus Yoki heads down that way. In case anybody's wondering, yes, it is actually quite cold. Uh, air temperature is plus one. With the wind, uh, the wind chill puts it down to minus four. The wind is three meters per second from the north, gusting to eight meters per second. Uh, I can believe that. I would actually say these gusts are maybe even a little bit stronger than that. Um, but uh, yeah, got my nice big winter coat on. Forgot my gloves though, so my fingers are somewhat on the chilly side. spot I've only moved about 10 or 15 meters but wow it is really windy here good grief it reminds me of standing under by the lighthouse in Boring during a bad autumn storm it is absolutely crazy the waves kind of look like I'm in Boringport as well not the bloody middle of the Arctic Circle I believe is a, a notification to whoever's meant to be looking after that to get their butts in the gear and do something about the drainage. Um, I would go over there towards the uh, the bridge that you can see in the distance, which is the bridge to Sodden Killer. But whoop, right, frankly, I'm not going to bother in this weather. Depending on how heavy it's snowing tomorrow or how windy it is tomorrow, uh, I might go over there tomorrow. But as it is, I think I'm going to see about heading home now. God, it's like being back in Hull again. Yes, so I've walked down the uh, the ramp that I saw. Uh, that is basically connecting to the path that they'd already made a couple of years ago. Right down there in the gap in the trees, they're meant to be building uh, a bridge across the, um, the old flood defences from years ago when they cut a straight channel uh, from uh, about nearly a kilo yeah, nearly two kilometres up there, there's a bird watching tower. They cut a channel all the way down to ends, just the other side of those, the gap in the trees over there, which was their first idea for the flood defences, to basically allow the water to flow in a straight line rather than going around in a big curve and coming back down over there. Uh, but yeah, I guess that didn't work. Um, so I would say... Yes, if this flood defences wasn't here right now, I think the uh, the water would already be uh, coming up to the drains in the car park where we live, so, yeah. It's nowhere near as windy or as cold down here as it was over there. 